we could uh, find as far as Asian markets go and indeed uh, trading goes. Uh, joined by Tan Tang Lu, he's chief executive of Capital Dynamics uh, Group. It's an independent investment advisor. Got about $350 million under management or thereabouts, I think. So what have you made of what we've been seeing? Well, in regards to... General equity trading, equity markets. Much. Quite more in line with what we have expected. I mean, we've been very cautious since the beginning of this year. And I think the sell down that happened a couple of weeks ago was a bit late in terms of our timetable. Nevertheless, uh, that I think is the first phase of what we think is a, a full fledged bear market. Oh, really? So, uh, <laughs> as one of my guests said earlier, he said that the, 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 well, um, the storm's over. Uh, he wouldn't say that it's entirely over, but uh, there are some bits of blue sky that he can see. Oh, yeah, the storm is over but it's uh, going to be replaced by a tsunami. That's confident, isn't it? What makes you so pessimistic? <laughs> Look, uh, I think the, we started the year 2011 claiming it to be a year to, to expect the unexpected. Nobody expected a triple disaster. Nobody expected US to be downgraded. I think the global economy has a lot of imbalances. You find that the developed economies have run out of policy options. And in some sense, the emerging economies have also run out of policy options. So you have the emerging economies still somewhat overheating. Inflation is still not under control. If you look at most economies last year, July, they said China's CPI peak. That was 3%. It's 6.5% now, and they say it has peak. Yeah, they're saying it's peak because of base effects now. Yeah, they said that a year ago. And you saw the home prices, and the Chinese government is going to control uh, the tier two, tier three uh, property prices. I think the problem with the emerging economies is there's too much liquidity and that is overflowing. To withdraw that, to control, to manage well, that. Well, that's what China's been doing, has been withdrawing into raising oh, sure. capital tier ratios, yeah, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, if a government wants to engineer a V-shaped recovery by having massive type of stimulus. That's the easy part. But if you want to bring it down, that's, that def requires tremendous art, tremendous skills, and uh, particularly in this year, a lot of luck. Because if you look at the global environment, it, it's not just about demand, it's also about supply disruption, and supply is related to natural disasters, weather, which is beyond the control of any government. I'm just looking here at some of the uh, percentage falls for these equity markets across mm -hmm. Asia. It's, you know, 14% down for the Taiwanese one, Hong Kong's Hang Seng, 11% mm -hmm. lower year to date. Now, as the long only fund, <laughs> you know, you must be mm -hmm. in trouble. Uh, well, not really. I think we, we first, the, the first defense that we have is to stay with undervalued stocks, uh, which we have. And the second defense that we have is to uh, hold high levels of cash. Okay, well, you do have quite a lot of cash. I'm going to just look at some of your top picks, just go through them. Sure. Okay, now one of them is, of course, uh, Indonesia infrastructure play. <laughs> it keeps on going up, but you're not involved, you're waiting it to, to go uh, yes, down. Yes, yes. And we're yes. talking here about a company called Jasa Marga. Yes, yes. I mean, we, we like the uh, business a lot, except that the valuation uh, has gone up tremendously, and we, we just uh, worried where the margin of safety is. Uh, Rex Lot Holdings, Chinese lottery operator. Uh, that is a very interesting uh, industry. The growth in that industry is quite similar to the Macau casinos, but yet the valuation is far from the Macau casinos. And the lottery business in China does not have uh, a social stigma. It is really encouraged and uh, supported by the Chinese government. So undervalued. Um, IP Group is a sort of venture capital company in the UK. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a private equity, a bit of a venture capitalist. It's spin-off from Oxford University. So what it does is, is to take meaningful stakes in any sort of uh, new technology, new companies that, it, seem, that it's, it thinks is very attractive. Last one, Illumina Inc. The industry is exciting. They are this is, we should say it's DNA, yeah? uh, it's into genetics. Yeah, they are in DNA sequencing and they are the market leader, except that the price has gone up so much in the last few years that, uh, you, I mean, look, it's a new industry, valuation is a bit tricky, so we're just waiting for a better safety margin. All right, well, that's Illumina there. Uh, 
we've got uh, loads more to talk about uh, as far as this goes, but we'll have to do that another day, I'm afraid. Uh, uh, let's take a move from Capital Dynamics. Uh, we've got to take a break, but to coming up, uh, a boost from Beijing. We'll take a look at what's behind China's high-level visit to Hong Kong.